Hey guys, it's Phil from smilinggardener.com and today I want to introduce you to the concept of biological transmutation. Spelled like this. And uh, this is a phenomenon that the scientific world doesn't believe is uh, possible. It basically defies the rules of chemistry and even physics and biology. Uh, and maybe they're right. Um, you know, it's certainly, if, if you're a scientist and you believe this, you're, <laughs> you're, you're probably going to get shunned. But there is some really interesting work out there on it, and I want to mention it to you. Uh, and uh, a lot of it, you know, people have been talking about this and doing experiments on this for hundreds of years, but uh, it was brought to the forefront by a French gentleman named Louis Curvran. Uh, and um, he basically did a lot of experiments that he claims showed that organisms, especially microorganisms, but um, people have, have also talked about plants and even animals, uh, being able to change, to combine uh, elements together to form new elements. Uh, so an example was um, potassium. You see that? Potassium, I think it's this, and hydrogen combined together to make Calcium. Is calcium? Calcium has a CA. <laughs> um, and so, this is uh, this is really interesting. Now, most people say this is impossible. In order for this to happen, you can do it with a nuclear reaction, which has a lot of pressure, heat, energy. Um, but for an animal to do it without pressure, without that energy. Uh, without any heat, uh, it simply defies science. So maybe that's true. <clears throat> but if you want to learn more about it, his book has been translated into English and it's called Biological Transmutation or Transmutations. Uh, and there's a lot of fascinating stuff in there. And my understanding is that the, the US Army of scientists uh, also verified some of this as well. So. But I also had a friend who was studying chemistry who just said it was nonsense. <laughs> uh, it's just uh, simply not possible. Now, you know, there, I, my opinion uh, is that there are a lot of things that, you know, the earth used to be flat, right? There are a lot of things we don't know. Um, and I think this is possible. And I think there are, there are some things in the book that uh, are difficult to explain otherwise. But really, I just want to introduce you that today because I'm really interested in um, energy, you know, energy in gardening, um, biodynamic gardening, you know, that has a lot of weird stuff too that people say is hocus pocus, but really seems to work pretty well for some people. So, uh, uh, biological transmutation, just wanted you to check it out. And if you're interested, go, uh, go look it up.